Welcome to another episode of recording immersive sound by using 3D mics. This is Show Mamitra, and today I will show you how you can produce a Hollywood quality 5.1 surround sound uh, from your 3D mic recording. It's a simple two step process. In step number one, I will extract the six surround tracks from a 3D mic recording, and in step two, I will re encode all those extracted soundtrack back into a Dolby or DTS file. Thereafter, you can use your favorite DVD or Blu-ray authoring software to combine the video clip and the AC3 file into your surround sound DVD or Blu-ray disc. The tool which I will use to extract the soundtrack is Web's UM226 plugin. It is available as VST or RTAS so that you can use it all major uh, audio DAWs like Pro Tools, New Window, Cubase. Um, it runs on Windows as well as Mac OS platform. Today I will demonstrate the process by using Cubase running on Windows. First I create a new project, empty project and thereafter I set the VST connections. As the input VST connection I add a new 5.1 input connection and delete any existing input connection. Repeat the same process for the output, add a new bus 5.1 VST connection output and delete any existing VST connection. It's now time to add an audio track to this project. I select audio track add and make it 5.1 audio track. Now I will import the audio from my video clip New York.mov file. Here I have 3D mic recorded sound. So what I am doing now is importing the 3D mic recorded stereo soundtrack in my 5.1 audio track. It's time to add some audio effect as I insert. I add an equalizer so that I can adjust my 3D mic frequency as per my liking. You can use any audio equalizer plugin. Um, here I'm using a plugin from Waves GEQ30. In setting up all the frequency channel setting as per my liking and then I am adding Waves UM226 surround plugin which will extract the six surround track. Here is the user interface you can see the two input stereo track I just play the clip and you can see its uh, patented algorithm is extracting the stereo track into six audio tracks. Now it's time to export as a file. Open the export menu. Make sure you select split channel checkbox. Select a folder, give a file name and click export. So what it will now do, it will write six mono audio tracks in your hard disk, labeling properly with the proper surround channel name. Here are the six extracted surround mono tracks. I now create a new project in Adobe Premiere. Select a folder, select your project name and then set the properties for your sequence. The most important aspect of sequence property lies in the track properties tab. Here I set the number of video channel which is one for this project and then I make the master audio track as a 5.1. I don't need any stereo track so I make it zero and I will need six surround track so that is why I have set my number of mono tracks as six. Let me import my assets.
Now it's time to organize my audio tracks by renaming them. I have six mono tracks, so I rename them as L, C, R, L, F, E, L, S, and R, S, which corresponds to left, center, right, low frequency effect, which is the subwoofer channel, and then left surround and right surround. It's now time to import the video and audio tracks in the proper place in the sequence. I just drag the video only from my video clip and then I am dragging my surround track into the corresponding tracks which I have just renamed before. It's now time to save and export the project as a DVD or Blu-ray disc. Oh, before doing that, we need to set the audio image, the audio image location for the surround track. Here, this small square with those uh, tiny bumps on the corner represents your room, and those bumps are the location of the speaker. So the left channel should appear from the left speaker, center channel should appear from the center speaker, right from the right. LFE we can leave at the center because that's the subwoofer channel which it doesn't have any direction. Left surround and right surround I assign to the right speaker location. And this I do in the audio mixer panel. Now we are all set. We are ready to export and encode it as a surround, um, surround file. In the export setting, you can either export it as a Blu-ray or a DVD. There are two kinds of encoding. Either you can use MPEG-2 and other, the other option is H.264. H.264 is a newer encoding format which uh, creates much smaller file size than MPEG-2 but produce a very high quality output. In the audio, you select Dolby Digital instead of PCM so that you can have surround. Here are two options. If you select Dolby Digital, it will just create Dolby Digital as codec. It will only create the stereo output. So make sure you select Surcode. Surcode is a paid um, encoder, Dolby encoder. Uh, you can use other third party Dolby encoder too. It will create two files one will be the video file and one will be the dolby encoded audio file the video file depending upon the blu-ray or dvd may have an extension m4v or m2v and the audio file will have an extension ac3 you can now use any of your favorite dvd or blu-ray authoring software and combine this video and audio file into your DVD or Blu-ray disc. Now you know the secret behind Hollywood 5.1 surround track creation. So you go ahead and shoot some amazing videos, documentaries and indie film using your 3D mic. This is all for today. I will see you soon.